All right, YouTube, in this video, I'm going to be showing you several kinds of telescopic cane poles, so stay tuned. All right, so to give you an overview on this video, I haven't always been into using cane poles and I definitely did not strive to become a cane pole collector, but I'm not ashamed to say that a couple of these I actually have multiples of. So my cane pole collection is actually larger than this. But the only reason that I have all these cane poles is because Walmart keeps putting them on clearance and we'll talk about that. But so let's start with how I have them arranged here on the left side is what I would consider the most ultra light. To the right here would be the most uh, medium action, if you will. And we'll start here on the left. Also the most economic in price is the simple two piece bamboo cane pole. And you can buy these at Walmart, Bass Pro, etc. They're sold between around three and a half and four dollars. And it comes as a ready rig, so you get a line, sinker, weight, and a little float. And these are really, really fun to fish with. Even the tiniest fish puts up a great fight because this top section is just as limber as can be. They're so inexpensive, even if you do end up, you know, losing a, a rod, either snapping it or pulling the eye off or something, it's not as big of a deal as if you, you know, spend $10 or more on one. But the biggest complaint a lot of people have with these is either snapping them or pulling this eye off down here. And as far as snapping it, you know, either it happens or it doesn't. There's not much you can do other than be really careful with it. You always want to make sure you store these where they're not going to get bent up, especially this small piece because it's so bendy it would be real easy to crack or even snap it in half. Another complaint people have is the eyelet pulling off and you just have to... Uh, try to tie your line on here in such a way that it puts more force on the actual pole and not just on the eyelid. If you look on YouTube or Google, you'll see there's ways to tie on to a cane pole like this where you tie around the actual tip of the pole up some past this eyelid. And that's how I would recommend that you do it. But these are definitely, like I said, very, very fun to catch even the smallest fish with because you just get so much action out of this. And for under four bucks, you just can't beat it. So now let's move up to the next and the lightest to heaviest here. And I'm actually going to show you two at the same time because that's how I bought them. Out of all the Walmarts within a few hours of me, there's only one Walmart that was carrying this particular model. This is a B&M, which the bamboo cane pole is also B&M. But these are B&M little jewel telescoping cane poles. The thinner one on the top is a 10 foot three section and the little bit thicker one on the bottom is a 12 foot four piece. These are both very, very limber, especially this 10 foot. You catch a bluegill on this 10 foot and it feels like you're fighting a trophy bass. You catch a bass on this 10 foot and this line and fishing rod screams when tension is put on it. It's a blast. So these two, like I said, they only had in stock at one particular Walmart. And when I came across them, they were all together off to the side. And there was no sticker uh, on the display with a price on it or anything. So I scanned it with my phone. And sure enough, it was on hidden clearance. And I picked these up for somewhere around 3 or $4 a piece. If you look at my previous videos, I'm pretty sure I showed the receipt on that video. But I bought a all that they had which was two or three in each size and these have been really really fun to fish with if your walmart carries these little jewel or maybe bass pro or something near you carries the b m little jewels i would highly suggest this over one of these more medium action poles you can always put a heavier line i'm sure that it's recommended like four to six pound test on these but you could put 10 or 12 it's not going to hurt anything so those are the little jewels. Yeah. Uh. 
Next one I'll talk to you about is the Slab Daddy. Now we're getting into what I would consider the medium action. It says light action on here, but I mean compared to these thinner ones, you can definitely tell a difference. Now that's not to say there's not a ton of bend and flex and fun, even with these larger ones. When you get into that third section on this and the fourth section on some of these, it's so limber and there's so much bend when you go to catch a a fish it's it's still a blast don't get me wrong so this is a loose endorsed mr. crappie slab shaker and I've only seen this in stock at two Walmarts near me one of them had them on clearance for like four dollars a piece and a couple of them were missing the rubber end caps and they ended up discounting those to two dollars a piece for me so I bought a couple of these I usually keep one or two of these are the Durango's which I'll show you here in a minute behind the seat of my truck and they're just good good poles it's got a nice uh, handle on it which uh, both of the B&M little uh, jewels there have nice handles like this it's very soft um, I mean there's really not much that can go into a pole like this they all have the little clips here you can wind your line around if you like to store it that way now the Shakespeare Durango which a lot of Walmarts carry is about the same size as your slab shaker here but the Durango is a 12 foot pole it's a four section and it does not have the soft handle it has more of a grippy rough texture to the handle but there's no soft padding on it these were on clearance for around three or four dollars a piece so I bought a couple of these last year and just like the others you know there's not much to it it's a simple telescoping you know type setup and Here's the last one I'll show you and this is one that most Walmarts carry. This is the Black Widow. They sell this a couple different ways. It's a B&M. So we've got B&M cane pole, bamboo. We have the B&M little jewels in the 10 and 12 foot. Now the Lose Mr. Crappie slab shaker and then the Shakespeare Durango 12 foot and then your B&M Black Widow here. This is sold as a ready rig. This particular one is the 13 foot. And they also stock it in my Walmart sometimes in a 10 foot. And then there's another model that they make that is ready to accept a small reel down here. And I just taped a cork with some electrical tape to the base here and sometimes I put the hook in there. But just a real basic um, telescoping pole. It's recommended four to eight pound lined on here but like I said before it's not gonna hurt anything if you put a heavier line say you're going after catfish um, the last one I'm gonna talk about the Cadillac combo this black widow the slab shaker and the Durango are all around the same width okay uh, as far as the diameter that you're holding as the base so I'll just show you the little jewel here next to them so you get an idea of how much thinner it is. Okay. But so your Black Widow, uh, I did not get this on clearance. I have never seen them on clearance. It's highly unlikely that you will find them on clearance just because Walmart seems to always keep them in stock. So I don't see in any situation where they would need to get rid of a bunch of them uh, now this last one I actually ordered online 
when I found out about it, I couldn't pass it up. I had to try it. It's the B&M Cadillac Combo. It's a 12 foot telescoping pole. It's four sections. But this has an actual reel built into the base here. And uh, I use uh, one of my wife's hair bands here to hold the reel handle down. But this reel handle flips up and you can reel it. Now you're not going to want to reel in a fish with that. But you can use it to let your line down or to bring your line back in. So another interesting feature here is this uses a line through design. So on the tip of this, the line actually comes out of the center of your fishing rod. The line runs through this, the center of this whole fishing rod all the way down to the tip. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's quite the pain in the butt to change it out if you need to. But if you're fishing around trees or down a bridge that has trees below that and you just don't want a bunch of stuff hanging down, it's really cool to use in those situations. So this is your Cadillac combo. I don't think any Walmarts carry this particular model. I would imagine it has a high return rate as soon as you snap the line on this and you got to try to figure out how to run it back through there. I'm sure that irritates a lot of people. Damn. This just kind of has been an overview video to give you an idea if you're looking to get into cane poles. Maybe you've got a selection at your local Walmart and you're trying to figure out which ones to buy. Um, if you have the Little Jewels or the Slab, uh, slab Shaker, uh, I would definitely scan those with your phone to see if they're on clearance on Walmart.com and you may just get lucky and get them for just a few bucks. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Perfect.